Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're going to be reading The Wild Christmas Reindeer by Jan Brett. Let's see what happens in The Wild Christmas Reindeer. Here they are, those wild reindeer out in the snow. Tika was excited and a little afraid. This year, Santa had asked her to get the reindeer ready to fly on Christmas Eve. Tika had never done this before, and she wanted everything to be perfect. Tika lived up at the Arctic in the shadow of Santa's winter farm. The last of the snow geese had flown south, and everyone's mind was on Christmas. The workshop was alive with the sounds of saws sawing, ha hams, hammers hammering, and brushes painting as they all worked to have their toys and presents ready to deliver on Christmas Eve. Now, don't forget, this is a Jan Brett book, so there's a lot happening other than the story. So don't forget to peek over on the side and see what some of the elves are building. Oh, look, a nesting doll and a horse. Tika knew it was time for her to go in search of the reindeer. They had been out on the tundra, wild and free since last Christmas, and Tika was sure they would not want to come back to Winter Farm to train. She would have to be strong and firm. At last she found them, Bramble and Heather, Windswept and Lichen, Snowball and Craig, Twilight and Tundra. Here they are. And look, over on the sides we can still see the elves working away. Tika took a deep breath Ooh, and shouted out, let's go, move, move, move. The reindeer were bewildered by Tika's voice. Their heads went up to see what the loud creature was. But they let her herd them together and head toward Winter Farm. Tundra gave her the most trouble. Tika didn't know that he considered himself the leader and was not used to being bossed around. He liked to be next to Twilight, but she was separate from him and running near the front. When they got to the barn, Tika put them all in different stalls. Tundra snorted impatiently. <laughs> By the next morning, when Tika went to the farm, all the reindeer were restless and upset. <laughs> Lycan was frightened of Craig, who kept nipping at him. Bramble was so worried she drove Heather wild, and Twilight kept calling out to Tundra, who was just plain angry and stamping his hooves. Tika groomed each reindeer. She wanted them to look sleek and glossy for Santa. One by one, she brushed and combed their coats and pushed and pulled at all their tangly manes. She brushed so long and hard that their ears started to turn pink. Oh no, that looks so uncomfortable. Ugh. Tika took the reindeer outside. Now she was ready for the real training to begin. Snowflakes danced in the air as she tried to stand them up in a line, in two lines and put their harnesses on, but they wouldn't stay lined up. She put Tundra at the back and Heather instead of in the front with Twilight. So he kicked out at Heather who then bolted into Bramble. Tika scolded the reindeer. Don't move, she cried. But they all ran off wild-eyed and she had to go after them and bring them all back. I don't think it's going very well, is it? And look, all the elves, meanwhile, are getting candy canes ready. The next day, Tika harnessed the reindeer in the barn before taking them out into the snow. Everything went right until she had them lined out upside, outside and tried to steer them first to the left, then to the right to make the sleigh fly. They would need to be able to move together smoothly. But everything went wrong. Tundra crashed into Heather. Snowball flew into Blant Bramble. Windswept knocked over Twilight. Then Lincoln locked antlers with Crag. Uh-oh, can you see them right here in the front? Their antlers are locked together and they can't get out. Stop, Tika cried as she watched the reindeer paw in the air. Unhook, unhook, 
she shouted as they tried to free their antlers. Then Lycan and Craig fell over into the snow. The harder they pulled, the more the antlers locked. The reindeer were frantic and Tika only made it worse by yelling at them. Tundra and Heather pushed to help, but their antlers did not break free. Windswept nudged Lycan and Bramble ran to help Craig, but the more they tried to help, the more they got tangled up themselves. Their necks strained, their muscles bulged, but their antlers did not budge. Tika welled, wheeled, oh please, it's almost Christmas. But the reindeer could not move. A frosty silence hung in the air. Oh no, they're all tangled. Look at this big mess of antlers. They're so tangled. Tika looked at the tangled reindeer, once so bold and free, and she began to cry. Oh, it's my fault, she said. I've spent all this time yelling at you instead of helping. I'm sorry. And one by one, she gave each reindeer a hug. Tomorrow, she said, we'll go to work in a new way. No yelling, no screaming, no bossing. I promise. Let me try to help you get free. The reindeer listened to this new voice. Heather's eyes sparkled. Crag cracked a reindeer grin. Bramble giggled and snowflakes a snowball sighed. Tundra laughed and Twilight smiled. The more they laughed, the more they shook. And as they shook, their antlers rattled and rumbled. And before Tika could do anything, she heard a spring, spring, spring sound. It was the antlers jingling free. Phew. Quietly, Tika led the reindeer back to the barn. She sleeked their coats. She gently brushed their ears and combed out their manes. Tundra nuzzled her neck. Oh. The next day, the reindeer lined up in two lines, ready for the harness, with Twilight and Tundra leading the line. They practiced turning left, they practiced turning right. Tika directed them softly. Tundra pulled for Twilight, Bramble was gentle to Lycan, Windswept helped Heather, and Snowball nestled against Craig. Together they practiced long and hard. They didn't notice that it was getting dark and they almost didn't hear the jingle jingle in the distance. It was Santa. Santa standing by the sleigh, piling high with, prince, with presents and getting ready for Christmas. Now the reindeer were ready too and Tika led them to the sleigh. Santa smiled and nodded a thanks. Then he climbed aboard and waved to Tika, who watched as the wild reindeer rose up together, carrying the sleigh off into the night. The end. Good listening, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, and I can't wait to read to you all next week. Bye-bye.